Hello. Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the recent price hike in Tata Tiago. The Tata Tiago normal petrol variant, the price hike noticed is rupees 6000. Uh, across all variant except in XTO variant. In XE variant, the um, uh, price latest price on May 2023 is 5.6 lakhs, which is 1.08 percent higher than that of the old price. In XTO variant, the price remains the same, and in XT variant, the uh, latest price is 6.38 lakhs. Uh, while the comparison with the old price, it is 0.95 percent higher. And XT rhythm variant is 6.68 lakh, and it, which is 0.91 percentage higher than that of the old price. And XC set plus variant is 7.11 lakhs, which is 0.85 percentage higher than that of the old price. While looking at this, we able to notice that except by XT O variant, all other variants have the price increase of rupees 6,000. Let's have a look at the price increase in the CNG variant of Tata Tiago. The price increase noticed in a CNG variant is approximately uh, 6000 across all variants. In XE variant, the latest price is 6.5 lakh, which is 0.93% higher than that of the old price. And in XM variant, it is 6.83 lakhs, which is 0.89% higher than that of the old price. And XT variant is 7.28 lakhs, which is 0.83 percentage higher than that of the old price. And uh, XZ plus uh, variant is 8.01 lakhs, which is 0.75 percentage higher than that of the old price. Let's have a look at the price increase in AMT variants of uh, Tata Tiago. The XTA variant is 6.93 lakh, which is 0.87 percentage higher than that of the old price. And X is at A plus which is 7.66 lakhs which is 0.79 percentage higher than that of the old price. Let's have a look at the price increase in Tiago Energy. The overall uh, the price increase is 6000 across all variants. The XT variant is 6.68 lakhs which is 0.91 percentage higher than that of the old price and XZ variant is 7.11 lakhs which is 0.85 percentage higher than that of the old price. And XTA variant is 7.66 lakhs, which is 0.79 percentage higher than that of the old price. And XTCNG variant is 7.58 lakhs, which is 0.8 percentage higher than that of the old price. And XZ CNG variant is 8.01 lakhs, which is 0.75 percentage higher than that of the old price. The Tiago really is one of the best looking hatchbacks we have seen in a long time with a really good balance between the conventional hatchback design like the Alto has and a tall body design like the Wagner. The Tiago's proportions are quite on point. The grille on this top of the line version is finished in gloss black with great like uh, details like um, hexagons and that get smaller towards the edges. The pulled back headlamps that fuse with the grille look like great and again have a lot of chromed out detail in them which make them look premium. What we also like in uh, the car's distinct shoulder line that goes all the way from the front of the car extends just below the windows and all the way to the C pillar. Coming to rear the inbuilt spoiler with the two Accent pieces combined with a sporty bumper really ties the car up well and so do the sharp tail lamp one of the more subtle design features of the car however is the way Tata has stanced the Tiago especially around the wheels as a not to leave any excessive gaps between tires and the bodywork which makes a car look lower and a lot more planted. On the whole, then there is a certainly a lot of design effort that has gone into the Tiago. Then thankfully, there is nothing on this car that reminds us of the older Indica, the way the Bolt still reminds us of the Vista. Uh, the step into the Tiago and you are immediately greeted with a fresh and modern interior that looks as current as uh, anything else in the market today. The dashboard gets a soft touch, two-tone and unique textured interior which was, when combined with the gloss black center console looks uh, quite upmarket for a car of this price range. If you opt for a new bright orange or red colors, you also get body colored AC vents on the far side of the dashboard. 
a feature that just adds a bit of the space to the insides of the Tiago. As an added bonus, Tata has also identified seven individual panels on the interior that can be taken off and painted in any color uh, that customer wants, adding a level of customization into the Tiago that is previously unheard in the car of this category. And even base model variants will get um, the gloss black interior accent pieces, which will make even their bare bones version look presentable. The instrument cluster is festooned in a simple brushed silver color which combines with the crisp readouts and make it look uh, quite apt. The coming to the seats, the Tata has uh, used all new fabric, um, black fabric with black and grey inserts on the Tiago. The new seats, uh, especially on the top of the line uh, model, look uh, really cool with a wedge shaped top and the uh, head headrest fits in and large side bolsters uh, that make it look sporty. Lumber and back support in general is great but the seat bottoms are not enough and uh, severely lack under thigh support. The same goes with the rear seats as well although there is a great amount of flex space better than competition like the Maruti Celerio and the seat does uh, have a good seating angle. The seat bottom gains uh, tend to ruin experience. Taller passengers might also be slightly inconvenienced uh, by the structural member that does hamper headroom a little. And of course, uh, just like the Bolt, the Tiago 2 does not get a center armrest on the uh, rear seats, uh, the omission of which in both cars is just not acceptable in this day and age. T Tata has also incorporated a new type of headier headliner into the car which adds to the premium look. Of course, as expected, you uh, get all the gadgetry like the Bluetooth enabled infotainment system and a USB slot. But what you also get is an added feature where the, through a Map by India app on your phone, you can display the stream navigation data straight to the your central screen. Now, although the Tiago does not have the navigation system inbuilt, this uh, feature does essentially double up as the navigation package and works really well. Also, considering the fact that it will support both Apple, Android Auto and Apple uh, CarPlay, uh, just gives it a uh, lot more usability. In addition, you also get features uh, like ABS, airbags, along with uh, other uh, user-friendly features like electronically controlled rear view mirrors, steering mounted audio controls and a height adjustable seat. The Tiago also gets a height adjustable steering column to add to obtaining the perfect driving position. What is missing though is a touchscreen system like uh, the one in the Renault Quid or, and the electronically uh, foldable ORVMs. Uh, rear AC vents uh, uh, would also have been a yeah, welcome addition but um, sadly there are, are uh, mi missing too. One of the biggest concerns that we had in the Bolt was the fact that there was there were not enough cubby holes and storage spaces. Tata has worked on that and it, um, the Tiago gets dedicated slots for bottles, two cup holders, even a separate shelf in the glove box to store your iPad. The Tiago's glove box itself is quite spacious and as an addition added feature on the top of the line version also comes with the cooling option all in all. Uh, the Tiago certainly is a uh, well spaced in terms of the equipment. The Tata